hello in this video i will be teaching you how to build a not gate using a transistor so first let me explain you how the circuit should be for building a not gate using a transistor so here you can see i have two circuits on the left is the hardware circuit for the right one which is the circuit diagram so let me explain you how the circuit works so first this i have connected a 5 volt supply which is connected to this transistor the transistor here i am using is an npn transistor which is a bc 547 npn transistor you can see this this is a bc 5 uh, bc 547 npn transistor the first pin here is the collector then the base then the emitter so these are the three pins of this my transistor now in this circuit diagram you can see here i have base collector and emitter so here this collector is connected with 5 volt power supply using a 2 kilo ohms resistor now the base of this npn transistor is connected with an input a through a 10 kilo ohm resistor and this emitter terminal of this transistor is connected directly with the ground okay so now <coughs> for the not gate we need an output so to see the output i have connected an led so this led is connected to this output terminal which is connected so directly to the collector terminal of this transistor and further this led is connected to the ground so whenever this led is high that is the led will be on so we have a high output high output and if the led is off the output is low so similarly in this circuit you can see <coughs> this 5 volt here which i have connected is through this power source which i am getting here on the breadboard so this red wire is the 5 volt plus 5 volt supply and this white wire is the ground now 5 volt goes to the collector using a 2 kilo ohms resistor so this blue wire which you can see is connected to the plus 5 volt supply is, is which is going to this resistor which for the goes to this collector of this this transistor so this is this part of the connection now also this collector has connected to the output which is connected to the led so the <coughs> led is one pin is connected to the collector and the other another pin of led will be connected to the ground so let's see how it, i have done this so here you can see this transistor the collector pin is connected with this leds positive pin which for the goes and the negative pin is connected to this green wire green wire which is going to this negative of the breadboard so this is the negative that is the ground now the emitter of this transistor is directly connected to the ground so here the third pin of this transistor you can see here is connected to this red wire now this red wire where it goes is to this negative terminal that is the ground for the breadboard now the thing that is left is this base terminal so this base terminal is connected to the input a which is connected through a 10 kilo ohm resistor so the input a i have given through this 5 volt power supply only which i have connected using a green wire which goes further to a 10 kilo ohm resistor in the collect, uh, collector term sorry base terminal so as you can see here this let me just remove this wire and show you so this goes into the collect sorry base terminal and this is how the 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected to the base terminal and this is it this is how we get the input so this is the circuit for building a not gate using an npn transistor now on npn transistor we have two cases first is when input is zero the output will be high 
and second is when input is high the output is zero so let's see the working of these two cases one by one so here we have first case when input is zero so when we have input a equals to zero the output is should be one the output should be one that is high so in our case when we have output is one so this led which we have will be glowing this led should glow should be high now similarly in this circuit let me show you practically so this power supply is on now for input a to be zero and in this circuit where we have input connected to the base terminal should be zero so this is the input which we have connected to the base terminal through a 10 kilo ohm resistor so if i just remove this wire the, my input will be zero and at that time the output should be one that is high so if output is high you can see this led should glow so i'm just removing this green wire so that my input a will be zero and you can see the led is glowing so that means the output is high again for the second case this input a should be one so again if i connect this here so the input will be high because my 5 volt power supply is connected to this green wire which goes to the base terminal making the input high so if input is high the output should be zero that is the output is zero when led is off so i am connecting this here making my input high and you can see the led turns off so this case is also correct when input a is one the output is zero so but how this works let me explain you this using the circuit so when my input a is zero the led is high okay so when input is zero there's no uh, the base terminal is zero receiving zero input so this means that transistor here acting as a switch there is no connection between the collector and the emitter collector and the emitter terminal of the npn transistor so whenever a fiber supply passes from this 2 kilo ohm resistor to this collector it just stays here because there is no further connection uh, of the circuit so now but we have connected this collector terminal to this output terminal which goes to the led and this 5 volt supply go, goes directly to the led so this high voltage oh, sorry so this plus volt uh, plus 5 volt goes to this led and hence the led glows so that is the led has high output now for the second case when input a is one so let me just connect this wire the input is one which means the transistor act as a switch and this c uh, collector is connected to this emitter directly because the base terminal is on so here when a 5 volt supply is applied on the circuit this so 5 volt supply passes to this collector and further goes to the emitter and which but the emitter is connected to the ground so here what happens is this 5 volt supply has just directly turns to zero so here we have zero volt to the emitter and all further this uh, there's a straight and direct connection between the emitter and the collector so this zero voltage comes at the collector also and also this collector is connected to this O terminal that is output terminal which further goes to the led so since here we have zero and also we have zero on the collector uh, terminal of this npn transistor so the led also receives zero input that is low input and hence the led is off so this makes a not gate circuit using an npn transistor also when you can just increase or decrease the value of this uh, resistor to change the brightness of this led so this was the working of not kit not logic kit using a npn transistor you can also use a pnp transistor and make the same circuit thank you guys for watching please like comment share and subscribe